Hello friends, this is Sajid and you are watching the first video of 12th biology series. In this video we will discuss the concept of reproduction. We know that each and every organism can live only for the certain period of time and after that it dies. So this certain period of time for which the organisms live is called as lifespan and this is the first definition of this topic according to the NCRT book lifespan and it is defined as the time period from the birth of the organism to its natural death remember this death should be natural one because sometimes the organisms uh, may die due to the disease or one organism may eat the other organism so these are not uh, the example of natural death in natural death the organism get older and older then it gets weak and after it dies without any accident or it is not eaten, eaten up by the other organisms it is very surprising that lifespan of every organism is very different. Some have lifespan of few days and others have the lifespan of 100 years. Here are some examples of lifespan. So let me write down here. So these are the examples from NCRT books only. Elephant. It lives for 60 to 75 years. Cow for 20 to 25 years. Horse. 60 years, crocodile lives for 60, tortoise for 100 to 150 years and dog for 15 years. As you can see there is no relation between the size of organism and its lifespan. It is not like that the larger organism lives longer and the smaller organism lives for a very short period of time. So here we can see the lifespan of elephant is 60 to 75 years and elephant is much bigger animal but tortoise which is the smaller one it lives for 100 to 150 years so here also we can see the horse and cow they are nearly of equal size but horse lives for 60 years and cow for only 20 to 25 years so there is no relation between the size of organism and its lifespan. So here are some other examples. Parrot it lives for 140 years and the crow which is of nearly same size it lives for 15 years. Mayfly you are not familiar with the mayfly let me put uh, the photograph here. So this is the mayfly and it lives only for 24 hours. It is the shortest known lifespan. But if the lifespan of the organisms is limited, uh, for example that of butterfly is only 1 to 2 weeks, all the butterfly must get vanished within few months because their lifespan is very short. But we are still able to see the new butterflies. So from where these new butterflies come into existence? how life continues so answer is the process of reproduction so the organisms here for example the butterflies during its lifespan of one to two weeks gives rise to gives birth to new butterflies and this is called as the process of reproduction so let me introduce two terms here the organism which is giving birth to the other organism to the new organism is called as parent parent and the organism which are newly generated from parent are called as offsprings so these are the two important terms parent and offspring so in the process of reproduction parent gives rise to offsprings okay so let us discuss the actual definition of reproduction. So reproduction is a biological process in which the organisms give rise to the offsprings which are similar to them. So this is the definition. So let us see why it is biological process. 
बिकॉज रिप्रोडक्शन इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सो दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज नॉट शोन बाय नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स दैट्स वाई इट इज अ बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस सो एट द एंड वी हैव रिटर्न द ऑफस्प्रिंग्स आर सिमिलर टू द पेरेंट द ऑफस्प्रिंग आर सिमिलर टू ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच हैव गिवन बर्थ टू दैम सो वॉट डज इट मीन सपोज अ बटरफ्लाई इफ इट इज रिप्रोड्यूसिंग to generate its offspring the offspring will be butterfly only we will not be confused whether it is a mosquito or butterfly we can be easily ident we, we will be easily able to identify them so that's why the offspring and parent they are similar to each other in some cases the parent and offspring they are identical they are exactly similar to each other for example in case of bacteria the offspring and parent they are identical genetically as well as morphologically so parent and offspring either they will be similar to each other with some differences or they will be exactly identical